Where you go? You got no school today? No. Sure not? Then you don't need to go work. I took off a few days, lah. That's why I can chill. Oh, Beth. You bunting, ah? Today is e-learning day. We attend school from home. Then you're not at home, what? It's later. Wow, oh, good life, ah. Nowadays, people can work from home, uh, can go to school from home. All you youngsters could live, you know. <sighs> During my time, uh, we had to walk to school. Not just five or ten minutes, you know. Almost uh, one hour. Why didn't you take the bus? Because I prefer to save my pocket money to buy ice kacang after school. Uh, so after a long walk after school, oh, sure, only. If you took bus instead of walking home, you won't need to eat ice kacang. You think what? Last time, buses have aircon like now, is it? Huh? I tell you, uh, taking the bus back then uh, was hotter than walking. Uh. The windows can't even open properly. We all youngsters, uh, you don't know how good you have it. Uh. Nah, see, lah. talking about ice kacang, now I've got craving already. Hey, what time is your home learning starting? Better don't be late. Lah. Later. Wait. I didn't know there was Pochu's birthday today. She doesn't like to make a big deal about her birthday. So I got her a spa package. She likes this kind of thing. <laughs> so you're trying to tell her that she's very uptight and needs to relax. Is that really what she will think? <laughs> Don't panic. Lah. I'm sure she knows everybody thinks that anyway. The post I made about helping Alfie Quack close on his new house got barely any engagement on Tikigram. Who cares about the post? You closed a deal. It's the commission that's important, kan? Yeah, but if I don't keep my engagement up, then all the work I've put into my social media will be... Hey, just be thankful. It's not every day that you can close on a landed house, right? It's not so simple, Mama. I need to keep a constant pipeline of prospects. That's how social media works. Ah, nah. Must come, eh? <laughs> Hey, young lady, no school are today. She has e-learning today. No need to go to school. Just lock one from home. Oh, what time does it start? Don't you have to get back home? Finish already. I did it on my phone. Oh, hey, you at least have another 50 years, ah, huh, before you start hanging around here like one of us. <laughs> hey, speak for yourself, huh? Uncle, I'm not yet 50, you know. Uh -uh. <clears throat> not yet 50 by acting like 70. Wow, that ice kacang really hit the spot, man. Wow, oh, ice kacang for breakfast some more. Uh, it's my off day, lah. Anything goes. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> Since you both are so free, why don't you both help me? I've got some uh, flyers to distribute to promote the RC's National Day celebration. Uh, Adoy, I already told you that today is my off day. You still want me to work? Uh? Day, Rahman, I need to beat that Wayang King, Tauke Heng. He's in this for fame. Uh? He meant that sustainability initiative of his. Unlike me, uh? I volunteer because I want to serve others. If you volunteer to serve others, <coughs> then why must you be him? Uh? <coughs> I, yeah, you all just help me distribute, okay? Come, 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 come. What difference does it make how often you refresh the page? Mm. Uncle Noah already said Jared's releasing the podcast today. Unless Jared was bluffing. I really thought us doesn't need to sue would have been enough to scare Jared off. On some level, he probably blames us for what happened between him and his fiance. She was like loaded or something, right? If revenge is really what he wants, there are simpler ways to go about it. This podcasting is really a lot of effort. He's just trying to salvage his reputation, that's all it is, especially after what he did to Arasi. I bet he thinks he's going to get famous like one of those viral true crime podcasters. I'm sure people will be able to see that this social justice warrior thing is just a facade. Just sucks that he's going to say whatever he thinks is sensational enough to get people to listen. Okay, so you all know what to do, huh? Okay. And action. <coughs> uh, Excuse me, I'm looking for a property agent. Uh, you know who is good? No? What a coincidence. I met one today. He is very knowledgeable. Cut, 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 cut. Can you all act a bit more natural or not? Oh. You want me to act or to be natural? How to be both? You need to be more convincing, Chan. You guys need to sell it and sound more enthusiastic. Huh? Uh, 
Ah, uh, uh, brother, I must recommend you one property agent. Tall, handsome, know how to play badminton. Who cares if he's handsome? Mm, I care. I want my agent to be handsome, can I, man? Then what? You want us to talk about his property knowledge? But you can't be so obvious about it. Must be subtle. Hey, if you are so good, why don't you demo for us to see? Huh? Okay. I know we all get quite fired up whenever this topic of Jerry comes up. For good reason. Especially after what he did to Arasi and then tried to sue Damien. But for Alex's benefit, can we try to rein in a bit? What? You're afraid he's going to flip out or something? You know how defensive he gets about Sukuna. I just want to avoid a situation where he can't really control his temper. But isn't it better to talk through it and process things rather than just avoid them? I suppose so. But today isn't going to be that day. Not when Jerry's podcast could be released any minute. The most important thing is that Hafik was patient, attentive and a good listener. He really made the effort to listen to all my concerns. Oh, gee. Now I really feel like buying a house from you. I mean, Hafi. And that's how it's done. If anybody comes here and you hear them talking about property, that's exactly what you tell them. Ah, you're so lazy. Why not print a sandy and put there like Tauke Heng? Chan, I'm not asking you to hard sell every customer just when you get the chance. Or if the conversation happens naturally. <laughs> sure no, huh? Who will naturally talk about property? People who come here only complain about ERP, MRT, COE. You know what? Never mind. I will help my son to find more clients some other way. Hey, you think we cannot do it? Ah? We can, okay? Yeah, Chi. Why don't you let us try in a real life scenario? I'll try to ask Uncle Noah if there's anything else we can do to stop Jared from releasing the podcast. Thanks, Mandy. Although I'm not sure how much we can do at this point. I think you might be right. It's out. Quick, let's see what it says. Don't you need to get to work? Don't you? Fine, I'll listen to it on the way in. And I'll take the day off. We'll figure out how to tackle this together. So, what do we do now? I guess we see what the fuss is about. Well, that was quite anticlimactic. I guess Jared needed to spend the first episode setting up the context of why he's even doing this in the first place. I hate how he paints himself as some noble journalist carrying on the work of his mentor as if he's got nothing to gain from it. He seems quite confident that Jessica Shelley and Elizabeth Pang were just the scapegoats in the case of this sugar baby ring. I guess that's why he hinted at something bigger going on, with more prominent people being involved. At least he didn't mention Sugunar by name. Hmm. He might save it for dramatic effect. Yeah, like how she died before she could uncover the real truth or something. I was worried for a moment when he was talking about how reporters sometimes have to spend extended periods of their time with their subjects. He was almost insinuating that Suguna would go so far as to have an affair. I would have killed him if he actually said that. We can sue his pants off. It sounded quite big to me. Don't worry. I'm sure nobody will pick up on it for now. In the meantime, we continue to get Noah's advice. Hey, why don't you just intro us to one of your patients? Yeah, actually, is this allowed promoting your son's services to your patients? Hey, who says we're promoting? We're just sharing our experience with Hafik as a person. Oh. It's all about perspective. Am I right? Right about what? <sighs> hey, you two don't need to work. Uh, uh, visit can I get a lesson? Huh? Um, uh, 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 your friend. And you? So free to entertain them. <laughs> I'm having a break now, la, Saya. We're just going to get kopi from the vending machine there. I will if you say so. Eh? Nobody's talking about the podcast. Maybe nobody even knows about it. We are probably giving Jared too much credit. Hey, 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 guys, how come you didn't tell me that Suguna is going to be featured on the podcast? Um, I know you guys have your differences with this Jared fella. <laughs> Differences is putting it quite lightly. But now I'm even more curious. What did Suguna know that she didn't even manage to publish? 
Or like the Jarrah guy says, how deep does the rabbit hole go? I didn't know you're so into true crime podcasts. Oh, those guys can be very interesting. Some of these podcasters even assist the police in solving crimes. Can you imagine? Who knows, Alex? Huh? Sugnas were maybe instrumental in uh, catching even more bad guys. Huh? I think Jared is doing a great job in continuing her work. Uh, Chandra, to be honest with you... Oh, uh, wouldn't that be great if that were true? Uh, anyway, Alex, tell me. So how is it like being married to someone who works in close proximity to these shady characters? Spa voucher? Why? You think I'm very uptight, is it? that I need to relax. I... <laughs> Joking la! <laughs> I thought just something for you to go and enjoy. Ayo, Paisi, why must you go and spend money on this? But it's very thoughtful of you. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey! Your husband is very free today. Ah. I saw him hanging around with Chan and Iskandar just now. Still? What do you mean by still? Hmm, I knew they're up to something. Then Chan and Iskandar, both also no need to work. Ah. You can ask them if you want. I have no time to get involved. I got back-to-back -back meetings today. <laughs> there isn't really much more that I can tell you. Uh, Suguna never talked to me about her work in detail. That's because she must be investigating all these illegal things, huh? Yeah, let me rephrase that. I mean, she usually tell me what kind of piece she's writing or the topic she's looking into, but not this. Not surprising at all. I had this one friend working with the government. Even his own wife didn't know what he was doing most of the times. All classified. No, what I meant was there were never any secrets between us. So it's just odd that I never knew that uh, Suguna was looking into this sugar baby ring and all that. That's when you were in sales, right? You were working quite long hours as well. Maybe that's why you didn't have the chance to catch up. I can't imagine why she wouldn't tell me about it, though. Especially when she was investigating dangerous people. As Jared says, I'm sure it'll all be revealed in time. He's got a way of saying things that really piques your interest, huh? <laughs> anyway, I better get back to fly distribution. Oh, isn't it a great thing, Alex? You know, you get to find out about Sugna's unfinished work. Well, for all you know, she could solve another crime. I suppose so. Mm. You, take this. <laughs> all right. See you all. See you. Bye. At least Jared didn't say anything bad about Sukuna in the first episode. He's smarter than that, I'm sure. He's going to drag this out for as long as possible. I'll forward the link to Noah, see what he says and how we should proceed. What I really hate about this is all this is making me feel like I... I didn't even know Suguna at all. I thought once we hand out that one stack can already. In the end, Chandra gave us so many more. Yeah, I'm tired. Uh, the weather is too hot already. <sighs> give out this for what? People will just throw them away. I think Uncle Chandra wants to talk to people. That's why he's doing this. Just put up a poster at the Void Deck notice board. Settle already. Everybody can go and see. Do you read your board that notice board? Hmm. Smart girl, huh? You don't have homework to do. Huh? No homework. Okay. Um, why don't you go and get for both of us a cold drink from the minimart? We rest for a while. Can I keep the change? Why should you keep the change? Service charge. I tell you, it's very difficult. People who need to come here, why would they be thinking about buying property? Yeah, the uncle we just tried to talk to, he couldn't even hear us properly. Yeah. Who asked you all to target somebody who's here to see the doctor for ear problems? Uh, hey! What are you all doing here? Huh? Uh, visiting Visit a friend. friend. <laughs> Same friend? Uh? Who is it? Uh, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Not a lot of people know it's my birthday, yeah? <laughs> and I prefer to keep it this way. Eh, they heard it from Noraimi this morning, actually. Uh, we wanted to show more people coming and sing, actually. Uh, but uh, Chanda giving out flyers, uh, Dr. Ten and Oliver went to Park Tor, and Robert He. Uh, it's, it's okay. Hey, thank you for coming all the way here. Uh. I got to go to a meeting. Hey, you too.
thanks for your help. But I think maybe it's less obvious if I help Hafid on my own. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Thanks. Let's go. <laughs> See you. Hey, long time no see. Still staying in the same place, huh? Oh. Yeah, it's been quite tough on him. I guess finding out that there were things that Sukuna kept from him, whether or not it was deliberate. The worst thing is when the person isn't even around anymore for you to get answers. Even if the person is still alive, you may not get answers. That's why it's best just to let things go. Michael's different, Christine. He's not well. Anyway, my point is, it's just unfortunate that all this stuff is only coming to light now, thanks to the chariot. Right, let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Yes, you can help by helping to entertain Violet after dinner when Noah comes over. Oh, I'm so sorry. Actually, I called because I can't make it for dinner today. I had a senior moment and double booked myself. Don't worry about it. I'm sure Violet can keep herself busy. Thanks for calling Grace. Let me know how it goes with Noah, yeah? Do you know what made your mother an outstanding journalist? She was always out there, in the thick of things. She used to say, good stories don't come to you. You have to seek them out. Hmm? Articles that uh, Guna wrote. I don't think I've seen you take these out before. I was always afraid to. I didn't think I'd be able to handle it, but I'm glad I did. What made you change your mind? I realised that it's been so long since I read her work. Looks like she wrote some hard-hitting stuff. We talk about justice, but where is the justice for Madame Rohaya, who lost her husband to an industrial accident? Yet the people responsible for his death walk free, sipping champagne with blood-stained hands. Mm. Oh, we need more journalists like her, exposing the truth and taking down bad guys. Ah, must come, ah. <laughs> hey, how come all these are not given out? I thought you all agreed to help me out. Huh? End up with so many leftovers. It's not our fault, Chandra. It's not that we didn't give out. Then? A lot of them who saw the flyer said they actually know about it already. Thanks to you, we have been going around telling all the residents about the Asi celebration. Really? Young woman, is that true? They also didn't want to take because they didn't want to waste the flyer. Huh? Ah, yes, green-minded people nowadays. Huh? Well, say what you like about Tao Ke Heng. I guess uh, his uh, sustainability initiative is really working. Uh, exactly, sustainability. Oh. Anyway, thanks a lot for your help. Uh, I will finish up the rest of the block tomorrow. See you all. He's been holed up inside there for the whole afternoon. Well, can't blame him. He must have a lot on his mind, a lot of questions. You've gotten a chance to listen to it yet? Well, pretty innocuous if you ask me. Um, but we can talk more in detail when he... Uh... Yeah, I'll go and get him. Yeah. Alex? <clears throat> I don't know why I never noticed all this before. There's so much here about that Richard Tan guy, what he likes, dislikes. There's an entire section on his favourite types of Dear Kwan Yin and Pua Tea. Another section on past relationships, employment history and... For all you know, this was just research you did to write an article about him. Some kind of profile piece. I mean, how much time Suguna must have spent with him to find out all these things, right? Don't let Jerry get into your head. He probably said all that just to get a rise out of you. What if Jerry is right? What if Richard Tan wasn't just a profile to her? Let's stick to the facts. So far, there's nothing we have heard or seen to suggest that Richard Tan was anything more to her. But what if... I know it's not easy. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, okay? Stick to the facts. That's what Sukuna would have done. From what I've heard, I think Jared is treading very carefully, at least for the first episode. But I read that in Singapore, it's an offence to defame a deceased person, so of course he's being careful. 
The worst case scenario is if Jerry were able to come up with some sort of evidence. Then we can probably sue him, right? Uh, it depends. Uh, true statements, factual information, they aren't considered to be defamatory. But Alex, it's a good thing. They didn't come up guns blazing. You put them on the defensive. That's true. Most of these podcasters usually lead with the most salacious stuff first. So maybe this is proof that they don't actually have anything. Or maybe they're just biding their time. Wait, how about um, releasing a statement? You know, it'll be from Suguna's family, just to set the record straight. Maybe they can cast doubts on his intentions. Uh, I'm just worried that it will have the opposite effect, draw more attention to the podcast in the first place. And more people will listen to it just to see what the fuss is about. So, what are you suggesting we do exactly? Just wait? You just wait till we get home. You get it from me, I tell you. Let me go! You still there to talk back to me? What did I say will happen to you with skip school again? Do you remember? Yeah. Means what? You're irresponsible enough to make the same mistake. Sorry. I'm warning you. If you try to hide the cane again, you'll get double. Come. I can't just do nothing. By the time Jerry puts whatever he has out there, it'll be too late to react. But what if he has nothing? You'll be overreacting for nothing, and you'll raise even more questions. No one's right. All that will do is just give Jared more publicity. Then there's Suguna. I'm sorry, I keep harping on this. I can't help but feel, what if there was some sort of her that I never knew about, that she was hiding from me? Alex, like I said. And do I even want to know the truth? If so, I guess Jared isn't really giving me a choice here. Whatever it is, just keep working hard and the rewards will come. Hmm? In fact, your papa can learn a thing or two from you. <laughs> what do you mean? You're so late recently. Walking around the hospital like you own the place. Even bringing people like Chan and Iskandar there to chit chat. Hey, I do not have patience to see. What do you expect me to do? Take some initiative. I'm sure there's some hospital projects you can involve yourself. Hey, hey. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. If my boss doesn't have an issue with me, why do you? 